Hey you guys, Matt Allen, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bassin. We're headed out for an evening trip to go chase Big Striper. Be throwing A-rigs, swim baits, a handful of different baits. Come along, let's see if we can get them. That was a freight train. Uh, poison. 7 4 heavy. So in all the haste, we left the net in the truck. How is this going to work out? You want to lift this for me? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you spit it. Nice. All right, we got a nice one. That's all it takes to make the evening. We're out in 30, 35 feet of water, throwing a Blade Runner spoon. The same thing we did back in California. Catching beautiful fish. Awesome. So what we're doing, guys, is we're out in deep water there's heavy current, we're in a river. There's heavy current and the fish are glued to the bottom in 35 to 45 foot. So we've got a one and three quarter ounce spoon, letting it go all the way, stick to bottom, and then we're just jigging and back drifting in the current. It's actually really, really simple. But the big thing is we just wanted to take a break. You know, we've been chasing largemouth, figuring out bites, exploring water striper is one of those things that we just love to catch it's just a good time you go out you laugh you get a bunch of drag ripped they pull really hard it's just a blast oh there's a bunch of under us it's just a really really good time so we wanted to take a break today stick some big fish and have a good time Weird that it's no -go. Maybe it was just all heavy heads so you could crank it down there or something. Right. Got him. Yep. Nice. <laughs> to catch so much flack for doing this without a net and we've got it coming 
Ooh. Look at this derp. It's just going. Just taking line. That's gonna be a good one. Oh man. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear the drag, but this fish is just taking anything he wants. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a big one. <laughs> yeah, it's bigger than the last one by quite a bit. You want to just grab the camera? Because I don't know how this is going to play out. Hello. Uh, shoot. Look at this. Oh my goodness. He has one hook barely on his chin. I do not stand a chance. Like he's, he's skin hooked. Yeah, he's. Oh, what have we done? Boy, a, a net would be no big deal right about now. Can you tail him? Maybe. Like a 20 or. Yeah. Nice. Yes. That is a big striper. Oh, we just woke up. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. Ugh. I'm gonna hold you up. Yes. That's what we came out here to do this evening. What a blast. <laughs> Woo! Nice! These striper, when they fight, they get all this lactic acid built up in their muscles. It's actually really dangerous. If you fight them slow, uh, it's really, really hard for them to survive the battle. So the faster you can get it over with, the higher the success rate for releasing these fish. So I've got her faced upstream right now, just letting some water flow. It might take 10 seconds, it might take two minutes for that fish to recover enough to swim off. But she's gonna be just fine in the end. Look how thick that fish is. There we go. Once they start biting, they're good. Let me grab her tail, turn her upright. When you're ready, girl. Awesome. So tonight we're just having a good time. But spooning for these stripers no different than spooning for a large mouth, a small mouth, a spot, any other bass. Send that thing down. If the fish are on the bottom, it's the easiest. If they're up off the bottom, it's a little harder. But if they're on the bottom, all you do is send that spoon all the way to the bottom and then hop it up. The warmer the water, the harder you pop it up. If it's really cold water, you just barely, just jig that rod just a tiny bit. Pop it up and then you follow it back down on semi-slack line. So you want slack because you need that bait to pendulum down. If you keep it tight, it just it's like a pencil. It's not doing what it needs to do. You want that fall that looks like a dying bait fish. So you've gotta be semi-slack so that you can get the fall, but if you're too slack, if you just lay all that line down, you'll never even know that you got bit because it's a great big hunk of lead. Once that fish eats it, they know they've made a mistake and they are trying to get that thing back out right away. So semi-slack, if you feel a tick, if you feel it go weightless, if it goes weightless, that means they ate it and came up with it. And now you've got slack in the line. So anything strange, you set that hook right away. And that's really all there is to it. If they're up in the water column, then what we do is we lower that spoon down until we're just above the fish. And we start hopping and we try to pull them up to it. That's the best way to get bit. But all in all, it is a really, oh, we're hooked, a really, really, fun way to catch these fish.
I don't know if there's even enough light for you guys to see, but little catfish on the spoon. Everything eats that. You do not want to be a shad swimming in these lakes or rivers. Everything is out to get you. All right, guys, we're gonna call it quits. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. You know, striper fishing is so much fun. Matt stuck two big ones. Uh, unfortunately, the current kind of slowed down towards the end of the this evening as it started getting darker. The current died and that definitely affected the fish, their activity. You know, we didn't bring a net, so I, I quit fishing and helped Matt. And unfortunately, I think that was our shot. That was our window, our bite window to get those fish. I did miss two little bites. I'm not sure what they were, but all in all, an epic day. Uh, it was only a couple hours. It was only a couple hours. Oh, and for the record, he had it in the truck. He brought a net. I'm just the genius that left it in the truck. <laughs> but uh, spooning, Matt did an awesome job explaining to you guys how to spoon. Uh, recently, I did that in depth flutter spoon video so you guys can kind of see the different techniques when each different spoon shine. But uh, that was the dust spoon, right? Yeah. No, Blade Runner. Yep. We'll link everything down below in the video description. But uh, two giant stripers and we had a blast. So if you guys get a chance, get out on your fisheries, especially if you have stripers and throw that spoon because it is so much fun. Again, I only had a couple shots. Matt capitalized on his two, got two big ones, and that is a win in my book. So if you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to our channel. As always, guys, we appreciate you. Have a good one.